Hi guys, so I wanted to jump on here really quick because I was getting so many questions about um, all oh, Facebook Live has updated. That's all new. Gosh, it's been a while since I've been on here, but uh, here we go. We got new updates and everything. So I was getting so many questions about um, my post that I made about my conditioner and stuff that I use. So I wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I use um, that, ooh, that sun is something. A few of the things that I use that I really like, and I think James and the kids just, just got back from the park. But anyway, what I wanted to show you really quick, all that stuff you see over my shoulder, those are my goodie bags. Everything came in today and we start stuffing goodie bags for um, all my uh, personally sponsored, all my directs that are coming to convention with us in a couple of days. So you guys saw the um, conditioner that I just got back in. And guys, I have to tell you though, I love to run my fingers through my hair. I don't like it to feel like I've got a whole lot of product in there. I don't like it to, uh, I like it to be smooth and I like it to be soft. I, I just can't stand a whole lot of product in there. So there was something that another um, lady turned me on to and I actually, um, Mine has not been so bad, but when we moved out here to, to Nevada, mine got really, really bad. And I was blonde then. You can see the blonde coming back. Uh, it's almost time to go and get those covered up. Um, but I was searching for, I used every moisturizing, everything that I could find. And nothing really gave me what I was looking for. So, I... Saw a lady one day, loved her hair, and I said, what do you use? Tell me what you get and what you put on it. And she said, well, I was at the salon one day, and this lady washed my hair, um, and it felt amazing. And so I buy it. And so this is the, get up here where you guys can see it. This is the conditioner that I use. Um, this is actually a mask that you would use two to three times a week, once, twice a week, however often normally you would do that. Um, but this actually has the argan oil and the green tea in it. Uh, it is professional, so a little bit expensive, you know, it's more expensive than what you'd buy off the shelf. So this is what I use, and I also buy the big bottle of the uh, shampoo for the back bar, the creamy one. It's in a big black bottle, looks a lot like this. Um, but I don't use the conditioner. I skip, and this is my regular conditioner that I would use every three to four days uh, whenever I was going to wash my hair. Um, so being skipping that conditioning step and going straight to this is one of the best things I did for my hair. Because uh, if you guys live out here in Nevada or anywhere out here in this desert, you know how hard it is to make your hair not look fried. I mean, I had blonde highlights and I was doing the foils and all that good stuff and I just couldn't keep it looking um, healthy at all. It just looked horrible no matter what I did to it, but I just love how this looks and feels in my hair. So, um, there's a couple other things that I use that have really become my favorites. Um, so I wash and condition with that in the shower. And then when I get out, um, I always use my Moroccan oil. I always go over uh, yeah, maybe four or five pumps and I put it all, all the way over. And I concentrate on my ends because of course that's where it gets the worst. There and up here because I can't stand all the little ones up in my part. So. I cover with the Moroccan oil as soon as I get out of the shower. And then, uh, same lady that told me about the conditioner told me about this little gem. And I don't know if you guys can see it. This is um, 
Kindy Oil. This is bamboo oil, and it is a dry oil that you would spray all over. I spray this all over my hair um, a lot, and especially down here on the ends before I uh, blow dry, or before I dry it at all. Um, hi, Amanda. So, I cover, I wash, I condition with my good stuff, and these two, I'll never be without these two. These are my go-tos. I'll, I'll be in stock with these no matter what. Um, then, one more little tip that I do. Um, I uh, studied cosmetology back in, uh, right out of high school, but uh, I've never blow dried my hair. I normally would wash it and let it air dry overnight because uh, I like to go blonde and I like to uh, bleach it and highlight it and all that kind of stuff. So I knew heat styling just made that worse. So um, I <laughs> actually now only will blow dry this part right here just so I can blow it and take a little vent brush and make it go back off my forehead so that because if I don't all my hair will lay right down in my face it just grows this way so I take a little brush and I you know kind of blow that back just a little bit and then I don't touch the blow dryer again the only way that I will dry my hair and this is usually only on the day that I wash it is I have one of these little things from these were Walmart specials years ago and I have went back and bought another one every single time mine have broken I've probably been through five of these and the last ones I had to order off Amazon um, but what this is and it actually comes apart it detaches um, switch it on and it actually gently blows hot air through here so this is how I dry my hair with the little brush um, I like these bristles um, because if you know anything about this area out here if I use the boar bristles or anything else I tend to get a lot of static cling in my hair and the little flyaways where it's trying to attach to everything you come near so this is what I use and then those are my few things and I will never ever ever be away from them. and of course I still love my wet brush um, this is the only brush that I can go through my hair and I can brush it and it doesn't attract it doesn't load it up with all sorts of static electricity I can brush through and it doesn't leave the ends kind of looking frayed so this has been one of my favorites um, I'm always out looking for another one though but these are one of my favorites and Jennifer's hair is really really curly so it was hard for us to brush it and this is one of the ones she likes because it doesn't pull her hair so these are some of our favorites so that is well almost all mine of course I sleep on my silk pillowcase um, I'm never without my silk pillowcase I take it um, even traveling with me now whenever I go anywhere and then when I go to bed at night I'll actually take this do a ponytail and I will I'll pull it through so that it's just looped and the ends are tucked up next to my neck so that um, even though I'm using the silk pillowcase, um, I don't have to wake up with the ends that are just everywhere because that is usually where mine first starts to show wear, especially um, I'd say a week or two after my haircuts. After I trim the ends off, the, the ends is what will start to look really dry and fried. So those are the things that um i've been playing with lately those are my go-to's i never use any other kind of tools on my hair and uh i can't say that i can find another conditioner like that i've done the 
Moroccan oil conditioner. I bought everything I could, even out to the masks and store anywhere. But um, I have not found anything that can beat this. Um, it's just become my favorite, and it's been out for so long. I heard rumors that it was getting discontinued, and I don't know what I'll do if it gets discontinued. Um, but this stuff is just amazing. And yeah, it doesn't look all that big. It's really creamy, and it really does not take much. Uh, think about like how much your stylist would use when you're in the chair and she's shampooing. You know, they don't they don't use a whole ton of stuff and just because this is professional grade you're not gonna have to use a whole lot of it so I'll actually buy like two of these at a time but yeah this will last me as long as what a big bottle of you know regular conditioner from a store or wherever else but I did pick up something of um, I can go probably um, Three days usually at the most, and this starts to get my roots start to get really oily. So I'm gonna give this one a try this week. I actually picked up. Um, I'm always looking for a good dry shampoo, but like I said, I hate that dry, crusty feeling. When I use a dry shampoo, I I don't like that feeling down next to my roots. So um, she let me try this. She's swore that this would not do that. It actually is a silky feel to it. Uh, tried it on the back of my arm. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't anything like that. So I, I washed this morning, used my conditioner. So I'm gonna give it a couple of days and then we'll try this one out and see what we think of it. Um, and I was blessed with hair that never holds a curl. So I recently saw somebody do a video with this so in the next couple of days I'm gonna pull out my curling wand because uh, in about two more weeks I have to be on stage in front of like 10,000 people and so I'm really trying to figure out hairstyles that will stay because I don't want to do my hair and then it be yeah you know, just I can curl it and it just falls flat within about an hour especially if I just kind of brush through it falls right flat so um, I think I'm also gonna give this a try um, it's a heat protector from big sexy hair uh, but this is also I have heard will make your curls stay longer so we're gonna give this guy a try during the week too so keep an eye out for those videos coming up and if you have any questions or you want links or anything like that, the uh, conditioner and my bamboo oil, I order off uh, Amazon because I can't find the conditioner anywhere else. But I've been told that you can get the bamboo oil over at Ulta um, for not too much. I usually just order two or three of these at, at once and have it shipped. Uh, but the Moroccan oil, I'll use this. I just buy the big ones and they last forever. I'll use this. Gosh, I've had this one for months now. Um, but it goes a really long way. And those are my favorite tools. And I will, I'm excited to try these guys for you. So we will see what happens with these later on in the week. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.